Yes, the typical EDI manager or EDI coordinator for every company should on a daily basis at least look at the prior day's activity to see that it matches what is showing in their ERP system. So if they show that they generated 15 purchase orders, you should be able to see 15 outbound POs within your either your EDI system or going to the tracker. On a weekly basis, you want to kind of do the same thing, but on a summary basis, saying that maybe you look at the, uh, the detail information, say, I've generated X dollars worth of invoicing. When I look at my information from my IDX tracker, I can confirm that I also have that same amount of dollars that were invoiced. That way you're putting a second check. You know what your system generated for invoicing and you can then see what actually went out. On a monthly basis, you wanna look at what your, your total activity is. You can see how many POs were generated, how many you processed, how many invoices. Really kind of do a whole metric on your whole EDI process because that way you have justification for your EDI system as well as potentially expansion because if you're looking at areas that may be very labor intensive you can add that in there so and that you know we have been able to go over and reduce the costs for our purchasing department for the finance department as far as invoicing so shipping may benefit as well so putting these metrics together confirms that all your processes are working plus shows the benefit of doing EDI that you can then potentially expand. All these types of reportings can be automated. So if you find that you don't have enough time during the day to go through Tracker, look at the information, we can push these reports to you. So you can get them on a daily basis and a monthly basis. And there's about 15 different canned reports. So I would say if any of these make sense to you, you know, contact the IDX support team and we can enable those reports for you 